How's it going, everybody? This is Rob of Novacast, back with a, another video, or review, episode review, of uh, Arcane, Season 1, Episode 9, The Monster You Created. This one, honestly, I think has to be my favorite. Out of all the episodes. Actually, if anything, it's the most emotional impact... I, I guess emotional and impactful episode out of all of them. Um, and unfortunately, it is a beginning of something that could cause a lot of damage. I guess to start off... Um, we have, uh, to an extent, a deal that's made between Jace and Silco. Or at least, Jace is trying to make a deal with Silco. But unfortunately, one of the terms that Silco has to abide to, he can't really take part in. And that is giving up Jinx. And going further than that, he realizes finally why... Vander did a lot of the things that he did. Going forward, um, we have several of the council members, or actually, no, not several of the council councilor members. Jace going to the council, kind of throwing away their respect or his respect for them, or if anything, not acknowledging, or at least, I guess, if anything, just saying at this point, fuck it. And telling them that at this point what we're doing or what they're doing is no longer feasible and what they need to do is at this point especially for the Undercity classify it as an independent society that they are no longer their own I guess if anything they're not no longer part of the Overcity but rather the they're their own separate entity at first they are against this but it near the very end it seems like that they waver and decide you know what let's go ahead and do this though unfortunately that is short-lived especially with what comes near the very end of the episode um, we have a rematch between a uh, violet and uh, Silka who honestly it's a really great rematch especially with the music that plays in the background um, Violet is able to win the second round between her and Silka following up with that she ends up getting captured by by Jinx or Powder and, and by the way another thing too before I forget Victor also denounces his efforts to try to find a cure for his illness. Um, asking Jace to destroy the Hex Core because he couldn't. Going further than that, we also have uh, Himbringer brought to the fire, uh, Firelight's hideout and is impressed by their uh, what they've been able to accomplish in such a short pound, uh, short amount of time and um, to an extent I guess if anything kind of goes and converses with them or tries to help them as best they can or he can now going further than that um, I want to talk about uh, going to extensively talk about the ending because it is emotional and it's it's it, it, to an extent heartbreaking especially with you know what our characters have gone through thus far for starters we have a captured Vi or Violet and uh, she is kind of uh, forced to make a choice to at this point especially when it comes down to not only have having herself being captured but also Caitlyn is also captured as well as uh, Soko. And at this point, 
there is a choice that is made or forced upon her to recognize powder as powder or recognize her as jinx and that entails possibly the hard choice of also having to kill caitlin but Phi doesn't want to kill at all and wants to leave with powder but unfortunately powder due to how far gone she is um ends up having to get into a conflict with the freed Catelyn, which she displays a new row uh, i guess a new ability where she with i guess due to the experimentation with uh the shimmer she's able to move at lightning fast speeds and during the confusion she ends up killing uh soko but i guess that ends up becoming the final straw because she inevitably ends up deciding to just taking on the persona of jinx and proceeding to fire her new weapon which is powered by the hex gemstone and uses it to fire a rocket at the uh, council chambers exactly when they were making their final votes to make the Undercity a independent society. All in all, again, this series has been emotional and it honestly, it, it's been a great series. Now, I'm kind of I, I I've heard that this is the last episode at least till we get a season two. If that's if we ever get a season two, but I have heard that you know apparently there's supposed to be like new episodes every Saturday, so I'm kind of curious whether or not more episodes come out after this. But other than that, I'm really really excited to see if there's any more because this has been really good thus far. And I've been enjoying what we've gotten to see. All in all, so far the, ep the series itself has been great. The characters, great. The storytelling, spectacular. And the emotional beats of everything has been just impactful, to say the least. All in all, great series, and I enjoy it. So with that, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. If you guys can, uh, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. If you guys want to follow us on social media, links are in the description down below. As well as check out our daily content and the weekly podcast. With that being said, this is Rob Novacast signing off. Have a good one. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.